Hello everybody out there. Today on this video, I'm going to give you five tips for homeschool success. Tip number one is to study, study, study. As you can see from my massive library, I study a lot. Studying is so important as homeschooling parents, we become researchers. And so when you're starting your journey in homeschooling and throughout your journey of homeschooling, you'll find yourself reading and studying a lot of different things. Um, that is very important to study up on different um, learning styles, under, you know, being able to understand your children and understanding their learning style, being able to understand the different methods of teaching, whether it's traditional or classical, all of those different things are so important um, when it comes to curriculum, studying the different types of curriculums that are out there, being able to go to the homeschool conventions to be able to flip through the curriculums um, is, is valuable. Also going to Kathy Duffy reviews, I use that to, re to, to really get a lot of different feedback on curriculum, as well as Amazon, the Amazon reviews and um, christianbook.com, you know, a lot of their curriculums will have some reviews from parents. Um, and so that's very important to, to study, um, which leads to my tip number two, which is to write a vision. Um, as an entrepreneur, um, I know how important it is for an organization to have a mission and a vision. I really believe and always encourage parents to write a vision for their homeschooling because when you are tempted to give up and you're tempted to throw in the towel, you can always go back to that vision and you'll go back to this is our why. This is why we're doing what we're doing. And so I think it's very important to write it down. Say, this is why we're homeschooling. This is why we as a household are, are going this method. And this is what we want to look like. Um, or this is what our children, we want our children to look like um, down the road. And so um, write the vision. Tip number three is to find the right tribe. Mentors are so important. So not only should you be around other new homeschooling moms, but you should also um, um, find a veteran homeschooling mom who um, has been homeschooling for a while um, because her, her knowledge and wisdom is going to be so valuable to you. Um, so finding someone that has done it for a while um, and that's going to help you along the way on your journey. So finding the right people because you and I both know that there are, going to, there are tons of people that are going to tell us we're crazy for homeschooling. Um, even our own family members will say, why are you doing this to your children? You're just, you know, destroying your children. So having the right tribe and having the right mentors will help you through and get past all the noise that's out there. Um, so that's fair. That's my um, third tip. Tip number four is eliminating stress. Stress. Remove stress from your homeschooling. So one of the things is perfection, being a perfectionist, um, you know, wanting to make sure that things look right or wanting to copy school. And I say often that copying the way school did it is to copy failure. Why do you want to copy failure in your homeschool? And so um, eliminating the stresses, the stressors um, will bring homeschooling success. Um, and I'm going to list some of these um, stressors here. Um, the first one I already mentioned was perfectionism, wanting to make sure that, hey, we sit in a straight line, we just like the school, or we want to make sure that, you know, my kids are getting everything right. Um, that, that is, that's going to bring a lot of stress into your homeschool. Um, homeschooling should be relaxed. Um, you should be helping your children learn. And if one method doesn't work, it's okay. Um, the next thing that, um, will cause stress is when you have a curriculum that's not working. Um, you, 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 you can't be afraid to abandon that curriculum. Um, and sometimes we're like, hey, man, I paid a hundred and something dollars for this curriculum or I paid a lot of money for this curriculum. Um, but if the curriculum is not working, um, continuing in this curriculum is going to bring stress. Um, and so I would encourage you to sell that curriculum on Facebook. There are tons of groups where there are people all over the country who are um, buying and selling curriculum. 
And so with me, I never purchase curriculum brand new. I'm always purchasing it used off of these Facebook um, pages that there's about three on there um, that, and I'll try to list them in the section down below. Um, but these curriculums sites um, is where you can buy used curriculum. So if it doesn't work out, you're not stressed about, man, I paid a lot of money for this curriculum and it doesn't work. Um, the other thing you can do is go to the homeschool um, conventions that are in your area. And therefore, there you can flip through curriculums. Usually all of the top name curriculum, homeschool curriculum people are there. But you'll get a chance to actually flip through curriculum. Um, so that's a, as well as homeschool groups. A lot of homeschool groups do use curriculum sales. Um, the the uh, next way that stress comes into your homeschooling is by comparing yourself to others. You cannot compare your journey to someone else's journey. I remember doing that when I first started homeschooling and um, how much stress that came upon me because I was constantly comparing myself or my children to other people. Um, but you have to know that your journey is unique and your children are not like anyone else's children. And so um, don't compare your journey to someone else's. Plus, you never know what's really going on behind the post online. <laughs> so don't do that. Um, my fifth and final tip for homeschool success is to rest. Um, I say this a lot on my Instagram page about the importance of homeschooling moms getting rest because we do a lot um, with cooking and cleaning and school lessons. Um, and a, like if you're like me, running businesses, that's a lot to do. Um, and so we need to take time at least once a week, take some time to go on a walk, to read a book, to reflect, um, do devotions. For me, that's very important that I'm, I'm pray that I pray every morning that I'm reading um, scriptures that help encourage me um, and that keeps me going. So those were my five tips um, for homeschool success. I hope that this was helpful to someone. Um, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. Have a blessed day.